And this morning we're talking tech. We've all heard the warnings about the dangers of texting while driving. So updating your Facebook page while you're on the road is probably not a good idea. But it's about to get safer. And joining me on the road show is president of OnStar, Chris Pruce. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. So will I soon be able to tweet from behind the wheel? <laughs> Well, uh, at least on Facebook to start, but what we've done is created a voice-to-text engine in the back end of OnStar that allows uh, our customers with simply a push of the button to post audio updates to their Facebook page. And uh, we think this is a very elegant solution to what's a growing problem or a growing issue with texting and driving. And people who are connected more than ever uh, and are active on social media sites have a hard time putting that device down. So we think this solves for uh, an important imperative uh, in the car. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds great. Now, what technologies are currently being tested? Well, we're going to, like I said, the, the capability is to do voice-to-text and text-to-voice. So not only can we do a social media update with a simple button push within the vehicle, we can also intercept texts coming into your phone and have those read to you through the system and then have automated responses sent from the system. It sounds like a simple thing, but it's actually a pretty complicated operation in, in the uh, IT infrastructure of OnStar. And we're hoping, again, that because this is an audio update and there's no typing and it's simply a push of the button, that this interface will be consistent with the government's desires to minimize driver workload and would be no more distracting or, or workload-oriented than any other function you would do in the vehicle, like changing a radio station or holding a conversation. Sounds great. And how soon will this be in vehicles, do you think? You know, we're going to test this for a couple months. We're going to get the interface uh, as crisp as possible and to see uh, which ways it works best. And we'll watch the data, but we'll have this into production within a month or two for OnStar customers. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll monitor it, and uh, we feel pretty confident this is, going to, this is going to be a net plus for safety for our drivers. I totally agree. And how will this connectivity change how Americans drive, do you think? You know, I think this whole idea of being connected in the vehicle is going to be one of the biggest social imperatives the industry has to solve for. And the more people are bringing smartphones into the vehicle and the more capabilities that they have, the more of an issue it's going to be in the driver environment. So we're trying to use simple interfaces, simple technology to keep your hands on the road and your eyes on the road, your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road, and to do things through just a simple voice-activated button push. And to us, this is the right way to go. But I think this is going to be an area the government's going to look at closely, and I think the industry needs to look at closely. And we have to have the courage to pull some of these features back if, in fact, we think it's hurting the cause of safety. And we won't go in that direction at OnStar GM. Sounds great. Well, safety first. And thank you so much for joining us this morning, Chris. Thanks for having me. And we'll definitely be looking out for this new technology. And don't forget to find The Roadshow on Facebook and Twitter.